We're right now uncertain about the rules. I suppose that Cypher is higher seed. They're still discussing. Oh, you can actually hear all this. I can show you the lobby. Oh, this is not the lobby. For the rules, I just copied this out for them. Uh, this is the lobby. So yeah, uh, Guybrush should be sec uh, second seed because he's coming from the lower side. So Cypher should be first seed. So that's what the numbers are like. First seed, second seed, and then again second, and first, and it turns around again. First and second, and then. He just wanted to know if he's picking first. Alright, so... Uh, he has banned Visor then. So let's go back to the overlay. I'll put it in for you. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so we have Visor banned here. And he is picking Doomslayer on Deep Embrace. He's on the left hand side. Uh, we've seen this map pick before, but it was actually him playing Keel versus Pepco's Doomslayer. This time he picks the Doomslayer. Oh, you. Nobody's right. That's exactly what she said because he doesn't know where to put it in. Okay, I'll put it in for you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we got that one sorted out. Okay, then Cypher picks Athena. So he already got rid of his light champion now. He will be using her wisely, I hope. Versus the medium champion. So then Cypher peaks Kiel on Ruins of Sarnath. Where is Kiel? Right here. Oh, that's... Wait, that's Cypher's pick. I'm sorry. It has to go over here. Right now we are waiting. It is... Wait, let's see. Cypher has just uh, picked for the second map. Alright, uh, they are continuing. I was about to tell him what to do. He's a little bit lost. He has picked Anarchy. And this is, by the way, not round one. It is round two by now. Round two. We can also quickly check out the bracket again while they are doing this, or I'll check it just out uh, for you. Uh, just a second, I have to load the page again. Alright, so the winner of this will go against the winner of base versus cooler. So cooler has shown up! Hey! 
another professional player in the mix. We love that. And here's Beaten Proximo, as we've already seen, and uh, he will be playing bass right now in the second round. It's actually already a quarterfinal in the upper bracket. Other quarterfinals are CNZ versus Chain, Sparty versus Dewey, and this one, Cypher versus Scarpy, and we have Base versus Cooler. Okay, meanwhile, uh, they have picked uh, Sorlak. And uh, one sec, Sorlak first. And struck by Cypher. They're currently discussing still which server to take. But we will be ready. Alright, Garpy is being disgusting in chat. That's how we know him. And let's see. So we have Athena played by Cypher versus Blackmail Garpy playing the Doomslayer this time. He has played the first uh, matchup against the Doomslayer on this same map. He was playing Kiel then. So everything has changed. In this respect at least. All righty. So we're loading into this first map. Light versus medium champion. So again, no kind of mirror. Uh, dep um, if you look at the like type of champion they have. Prepare to fight. And uh, we're gonna get started. Round begins in three, two, one. Fight. So this is uh, round two. In the Estoddy Pro Cup, that's not the second one, but it's actually called number one. And already after 15 seconds, they both grabbed the major item and they're going right at the fight. <gasps> and Garpy actually pushes out Cypher, unbelievable first, very quick and painful frag. Athena just got pushed out there, just bullied away. Blackmailed, kinda, just like his name actually says. Alright, how will Cypher handle this? Will he get triggered? I'm expecting him not to. He has so much experience over the years competing in Quake over and over again. Doing pretty well for himself. Right now he is railable. Oh, you're right, so the scores and the overlay are not correct. I will remedy that situation immediately. We have zero to zero, obviously. It's the very first map. Thank you for telling me eradication. Alright, but here we go. The next confrontation right here was uh, LG on some rockets there. Cypher did pick up the heavy one more time. RP right now, no armor to work with. Cypher here showing those impressive hooks. Both using some rails there. Cypher very low, picks up those health bubbles, they save his life. And in the end, it was uh, going back and forth. In the end, it ended in a bloodbath. Cypher once again loses his Athena and respawns. Now, Garpy is pretty low. Alright, we have the first frag for Cypher. <laughs> Have you picked up? Cypher right now, only five armor from that little armor shard he lost previously. <sighs> Having a hard time finding that stack. <clears throat> 
unfortunately he's overstacked on health and the nails there are not hitting anything. Is he gonna be pushing out Garpy this time just like he did to him? No, but it does get a frag with the rail anyway and we have lead tied right now. Alright, so let's see what our Doomslayer here has to offer. Only played a third of the map so far. We have a tie. Lost. And lead actually lost here. Cypher takes it with the railgun. Confidently. Doom is toasting. There we go. Cypher again just comes in with the LG. It's like, oh, you're no match for me. Just get away. Doom obviously good here uh, with the double jump. It's an easy time getting, for example, to that heavy armor there. Was hugging walls again. Good rockets there. Is he gonna push her out? No, but he's damaging here her severely, but she was so overstacked. Ah, that rail might have been his end actually. Or at least put him close to it, but by now he's uh it's got full natural stack, but here we go, LG versus toaster. And the toaster is the victor. Alright, but Cypher is still in the lead by one frag here. Almost half of the map is over. Gotta be careful here with that hole, don't fall into it. You can also fall out of the map there by the Mega. Very dangerous spot on the map. That shotgun shot really hurt Cypher. But he's still having that fun. Woohoo! <laughs> That's all it's that's all that's important. Doom trying not to make any noise here. It's a perfect rocket. Cypher super low and a little bit of a uh, shotgun here. Changes the scoreboard once again. Four to four. We received a rail but picked up the heavy right afterwards, so could be worse for him. Also overstack, where Cypher does not even have his four full light champion stack. A quiet game and then again toaster versus the rockets. Just to the rail, but the rockets are still good by Cypher. Scares him away and now it's gonna cut him off right here. Who's gonna win? It is Cypher actually. Let's switch perspective once again. Let's watch the Athena. Cypher is once again in the lead. It was a tie, but now we have five to four in scores. Two thirds of the map are over. Okay, and Cypher is making a quick once again. Just an LG tickle. Here we go. Finishing off with the rail. Very well done. Got stuck there with the hook. That was a little bit of a hiccup and he suicides. But that's okay. He's still in the lead. Getting that he heavy with the hook there. Getting those rails as he turns around. Sadly, the other two did not connect though. Tries to get some speed with the swift Athena. Major items are at the same time, by the way, so either they split them, which they won't actually. Cypher grabs the heavy, Mega still up, and he is the first to arrive. Be careful not to get pushed out here, Cypher. The rockets can be pretty bouncy. The scores might be close, but I feel like that Cypher is a little bit more confident here. 
You also know that Cypher has been practicing a lot recently. He has been streaming Quake again. Living the life. So Guppy's super low. That rocket did none of the splash damage. Here we go with some LG. Just two ticks and that was enough. Another point for Cypher. Beautiful hook right there. A lot of speed. Puts him right on the other side of the map. Guppy kind of humping up there. And here we go, another frag with the shotgun for Cypher. Going in right again. Doom is trying to punch, but he's this time not stupid enough to go through. Alright, and... Another rail hit. Athena barely survived this one, has to go to the health bubbles. Doom knew this one, predicted the movement, and we go. Comes in, gets another frag with the LG, I think it was. One minute warning. We go, the rail battle clearly won by Cypher. But he barely survives with 15 health. He has to go for those bubbles or something. He has to get away. He's too quick with his double jump. Move pretty quickly around the map, skip some corners. Uh, and here we go, another real found by Cypher. He survived with 12 health, but it was not enough in the end. It is a mutual frag. Alright, but there, her doom quickly deleted right after the spawn. Some very on point LG, and then he makes the opponent suicide. That's how we want it. Alright, so Cypher, very decidedly, I guess the war paint did help. Maybe it was the bunny ears, I'm unsure. But we do have a 10 to 6 and the man in the red corner, Cypher, representing Navi. Is getting a point in maps in the second round of the study pro cup this Saturday. All right, so let's check out the picks and bans once again. We've now seen the medium champion played and the light champion played, which means now we will see a different map, Ruins of Sarnath. And we'll see a heavy champion for the first time here, played by Cypher. And a light champion, the Anarchy that we have seen before in the first matchup versus Pepco, actually. So, Anarchy, light champion versus a heavy champion, heal. Cypher is asking if everybody is ready. Garpy is saying yes. Let's go right back here into the lobby. And we'll get this match started right away. By the way, I will quickly check out the bracket for all of us. Yeah, brackets does not exist. Uh, thank you, Dr. Pot. Uh, bracket does not exist at the moment. You have to do bracket. I don't think anything happened here. Oh, we do have uh, Paul's... Uh, I can't say his name. Polo Sat... This guy, you can read the name. And he is also there. So another streamer here. I think he is... Uh, is he Russian again? I think. As well, I mean. Uh, so we have a Russian stream for this uh, match. And the Cypher won the first map. And there is the bracket. It's uh, exclamation mark bracket. Not brackets. This time I have to change the things. But anyway, you have it there. Um, 
All right. By the way, base has beaten Cooler 2-0 in that other quarterfinal, just like this one is also a quarterfinal. And base is now waiting for the winner of this matchup, either Cypher or Black Mike RP. And on top, we don't know yet. CNZ versus Chain are still playing, and Sparty versus Dewey also still playing. <laughs> Alright, so much for the scores. Imagine your shock. Why are you shocked that uh, Cooler lost? I am shocked. He has to play against uh, either Undead or Razy. Prepare to fight. I think he just needs some practice and get Round back into it, and then he would do fine. Three, you were ironic? Two, I see. One. Fight. Sorry, with Twitch chat sometimes I don't know. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we have a 1 to 0 in map score. Cypher is leading. He is now playing his heavy champion, Akil. Oh, those were some nice grenades. He thought Anarchy was right below him, so he used the wall wisely there. He shoot the grenades down, then beautiful rail right in the butt. Garpy now very low, he's in a bad situation. I don't think there's a way for him to escape unless Cypher is uh, letting this slip. He's actually going down. Here we go! That was beautiful, Cypher! Wow! That was like... I'm like, that was the best play today already. <laughs> Here we go, Garpy is hitting ha back hard, though. There we go. Another frag. Quick by Cypher with the starting shotgun against that light champion, Anarchy. I've only played for a minute and 15 seconds. Garpy right now the advantage. Stackwise, will he survive this fight? Yes, he will. And he will take another frag. So we have a tie. There's a rail battle going on right now. I come bearing gifts. But no results here. Both stackwise pretty even. Now the heavy changes everything. Shifts. Advantage. Right, Cypher. He likes walls, but he's also. I thought he was just standing there. You know, to, you know, hear the Mega pick up because he knew he wasn't gonna make it. He knows the timing now. AFK, yeah, maybe, I mean, I don't know, maybe he was itchy. <laughs> Had to scratch himself in private places, I don't know. Maybe not. Right, it's very important to feel comfortable in these uh, matches, so your body has to be comfortable as well. And Cypher here took that sweet little time out. And he's back again, taking the lead with his heavy champion here. There we go. Well done here, LG is strong. Cypher has been praying hard to the gods. And they have heard him. So we have a two score difference still after three minutes. So a third of this match is already over now. Cypher once again in the lead. He's also won the first map. If he wins this one as well. He will knock down Garpy into the lower bracket, where there are mostly best of ones played. That's a little bit more dangerous. And there we go, he gets another frag, extends his lead. 5 to 2. Anything can still happen here, but right now Cypher also in control, he picks up the heavy, is now making his way to the mega. It's not up yet, he hears it spawn. He falls down actually. Does his opponent have it? He's just charging in with his toaster. And tonight we'll have toasted peel. 
All right. Sorry for hitting back hard, though. It's like, that ah, doesn't matter. If you frag me, I'll frag you. And here again. Who do you think you are? I'm Kiel, he says. This rail battle here. Ah, it's actually pretty dangerous here for Cypher. He is railable. And there we go. Another frag here. And it is true that, you know, Garpy playing the light champion here. The heavy champion does have the advantage Five because heavy champs spawn with 100 works. points of armor, whereas light champions spawn with no points of armor. So whenever Garpy respawns, he's already at a disadvantage because he does not have any armor. Nice rails once again. Oh, look at those. Like, he's just like, yeah, I'll do this and do this. It's like a checklist. It's like, check. Have I done this? Check. Yes, okay, well, that was a grenade kill, but it looked cool. <laughs> Could have been a rail. But it wasn't, it was a grenade. Yeah. Oh, and look, yeah, it's like, check, do this, yes, check. He's just putting uh, checks behind his uh, to-do list. And yes, they are insane rails. Those rockets just now, insane. Unbelievable what he's bringing to the table here. I love it. What a man. Get spamming here, the entrance. Rappi not doing him the favor of going that way. We'll go the other way, so it's like, Cypher's like, okay, fine. We'll do it the other way. I'll go over here. <laughs> He's buying himself some anarchy. And we have some rockets that were eaten. <laughs> and here, another frag. Alrighty, 12 to 4. Well, three times the score here for Cypher. Very strong today. Look, look what what is he? he's like, yeah, you're you're a piece on my chessboard. I will move you around however I please. You are a piece on my board. I am the boss. Oh that grenade almost went wrong. This really is frag moving material. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. It's like, yeah, you have no chance. Just stay away. If you know what's good for you, stay away. Like, don't don't cross my paths. Even if I see a glimpse of you, I'm just gonna rail you. That's what Cypher is thinking right now, I bet. <laughs> like, la la la. Alright, I'll pick up some stuff. Now, rocket jumps. Yeah, the other one. I'll deny it. Heavy, meanwhile, did go to Garpy, but uh, he's a light champion. Still outstacked by Cypher. Cypher has the bigger hitbox, yes. But still, you know, Cypher is a professional player. He knows how to hit those uh, shot, the shots, especially the rails today. They got picked up, Cypher hears the timing at least. I'm not even sure if he'll bother remember. It's like, you know. It's like he'll win either way. Some grenades being spammed here. That's actually pretty smart. He spammed them right over to T. Or that T area, rather. And there we go. Another confrontation. Gabby's trying to make something happy. He uses the drugs, and even drugs won't save your life, guys. Don't do drugs. 5 to 15 again, three times the score. And look at that beautiful grenade. And the rockets. This time are stronger. 6 to 16, so the 10 frag difference here. 
And as we can see, the Cypher did just respawn with a hundred armor, so he has an easier life after respawn, definitely, than the life champion Anarchy. He also gets the heavy, and now it was a little bit of a back and forth. Nothing really connected. And, uh, he's just making it quick. We might actually see 20 frags here. How beautiful is that? Like, just look at it. It's so synchronized. It's beautiful. It's art. They got, did you see? He did a... <laughs> did, he did a 360. Did you see that? <clears throat> this man has a lot of style. And we have 19 to 7 now. 5 seconds left. So I suppose it is GG. And it will be a 2-0. Cypher's not even uh, moving anymore. He's like, yeah, okay, fine, you know. Could have stood in the last two minutes already. It wouldn't have mattered. But, yeah. Alright, by the way, we have 42% LG. No, that was rail, actually. And 41% LG by Cypher. Those are pretty strong numbers. And yes, we have base now who is already waiting. So this match is over for now. We are going to stay with Cypher, who will now be playing against Base. Base has won against Cooler 2-0.